Hey guys, how's it going? This is Watch, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you on how to set up a triple monitor configuration for your computer. This specific guide is going to be excellent for anybody who's a newcomer to the whole realm of connecting three monitors together, whether you're going to do it for productivity or gaming. This is perfect for you. And this specific guide is geared both for AMD and NVIDIA graphics card that are just a couple of years old, but you definitely want to check your specifications on your graphics card to see whether it supports Ifinity uh, three-way setups or NVIDIA surround gaming setups as well. So definitely check the manual or the website of your graphics card manufacturer for that. But without any further ado, let's get right into this video. Now the things that you'll need to get started for your triple monitor setup is firstly having a graphics card that's capable of supporting multiple monitors. In this tutorial we're going to be using two graphics cards. One is from NVIDIA which is the GTX 970 that supports NVIDIA surround multi-monitor setups and an AMD graphics card which is the R9 270X which supports the Ifinity multi-monitor capabilities. Now interestingly when you take a look back at these graphics cards you'll see that they're pretty much identical in terms of outputs. They both both have two DVI connections, one HDMI, and a single DisplayPort connection. Now in terms of monitors, you can use pretty much any three monitors. You can mix and match if you like, but ideally you want to get the same model of monitor that has the same resolution and size. So not only will you have a better, more streamlined look to your setup, but also you'll have the same color dynamics and display qualities. Now again, if you have any questions about which particular monitor and graphics card to work really well with a multi-monitor setup, I actually made a separate video about that so just check out the end of this video or the description down below for more information. Now the important thing about setting any three-way setup is that you have to understand that you need at least one monitor to be connected to a DisplayPort connection. That's going to allow the third monitor to be enabled. Now if you don't have a DisplayPort monitor that's okay because there are a couple of options. Basically you can get a DisplayPort to VGA, DisplayPort to HDMI, and a DisplayPort to DVI connections that you see over here and they can support a resolution up to 1920 by 1200 and they're fairly inexpensive they're all pretty much under $20 I've been using a DisplayPort to VGA connection for a number of years now without any issues now if you do have a monitor that's a higher resolution than 1920 by 1200 I would suggest in getting a DisplayPort to dual link DVI adapter that has an active USB connection such as the one you're seeing over here this particular adapter can support monitors up to 2560 by 1600 now there are two scenarios of how we can connect the graphics card to our monitor that we are using right now. One scenario is involving connecting one display port and two DVI connections. The other scenario could be one display port, one DVI, and one HDMI. It all depends on what kind of connections you have available in terms of cabling and what kind of ports you have available on your monitors. Okay, now the first step is to basically connect everything, which is pretty straightforward. I'm going to be connecting two monitors using a simple DVI connection and the other monitor using a DisplayPort connection. Now, if you have a DisplayPort monitor, you could just simply connect one end of your DisplayPort cable to your graphics card and the other one straight into your monitor. If you don't have a DisplayPort monitor, then what you're going to need to do is get an adapter. I'm using this DisplayPort to VGA adapter and I just simply connect a VGA cable to the adapter, uh, connect the adapter into the graphics card and just simply connect the VGA cable to my monitor that doesn't have a DisplayPort connection. Moving right along, the next Next step is just to simply configure our monitor to work with the graphics card driver. So what you want to do is just power on your PC, turn on all three of your monitors. And first we're just going to be configuring our AMD graphics card, which is going to be using the Catalyst Control Center. So you just want to open that up. You just want to confirm that you do have the latest drivers for your graphics card. On the left hand side you'll see AMD Ifinity Multi Display and uh, you just want to click on the Create Multi Ifinity Group. and uh, here we can actually configure our orientation and layout for our triple monitors. I'm just going to be selecting the 3 to 1 horizontal configuration and hit continue. Next we just want to arrange the correct orientation of our monitors and in order to do that uh, basically you just click on arrange and uh, here you'll be presented with uh, two blank screens and one blue screen and all you need to do is select the location of the blue monitor that corresponds to one of the three monitors displayed 
and just repeat this step for the other two monitors and once you're done setting that up you should have the correct arrangement for your triple monitor setup so now we're just going to move on and take a look at how you configure an nvidia based graphics card for triple monitor setups so when you boot up into your os what you want to do is open up nvidia control panel you want to make sure that you're running the latest drivers for your graphics card and when you're done all that you want to go ahead and click on setup multi-display on the left hand side and here right now you can see that we have one monitor that's being activated but the other two are being recognized and to enable the other two monitors all we do is just check mark the boxes beside them and uh, here we have all three monitors being activated now you can see that the arrangement is uh, completely off and to fix that you can see that there's a diagram down below that lists off uh, the current orientation of the monitors and if you actually right click on any of the monitors you can hit identify and you'll get a number that corresponds to the location of your monitor so based on that information I know from left to right my orientation has to be three two one so we can basically drag the uh, number one monitor uh, on the right hand side of number two and just uh, make sure that we have a three two one configuration and once we do we just hit apply and now we have a perfect desktop arrangement and uh, this is great for productivity work because you can snap windows properly and each monitor is independent of each other so it doesn't act like one big display and uh, you want to configure it as one big display if you are going to be doing some gaming so in order to do that on the top left you'll see configure surround on the nvidia control panel and you just want to click on that and here you want to just check off span displays with surround and it's going to ask you if the arrangement is right and since we already arranged it uh, we could just hit next and uh, now you're going to get some information on bezel and edge correction uh, which i just typically just leave alone and when we uh, just hit finish we now have a configuration that's perfect for triple monitor gaming because it basically the whole monitor surround system acts as one giant monitor so when you go into your game you can enjoy that triple monitor immersive experience that you get and uh, this graphics card certainly has enough horsepower to power all three monitors at full resolution but other than that, guys, that's really it. If you have any specific questions about anything I talked about, particularly in this video, please make sure to leave that on a comment down below. And uh, if you have any issues with your particular graphics card, if it's a little bit of an older graphics card, definitely uh, go out and do your research on whether that graphics card is supported for multiple monitor setups, as well as uh, see whether other people with your particular model have had success in setting up three-way monitors. But keep in mind, a lot of the factors are uh, dependent upon what kind of a monitor you have, if it uh, supports DisplayPort connections, and whether you're using a particular type of adapter. If you look on the channel, I actually have a buyer's guide on uh, particular parts and components that work really well with setting up a three-way uh, monitor setup and the specific adapters that also work pretty well if you don't have a display port enabled monitor so definitely check that out if you like this video please make sure to give us a thumbs up really helps us out a lot and thank you so much for your support and we'll see you later take care